Mixtapes and DVDs is my era. Facts. We did it better. Yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers. Facts. ATG Boots. Uh. We 80s babies. Ooh. In early 90s, when it got grimy. I was out of this world, you could not find no. me. Unless you check the lobby. Hustling was my hobby. Damn. We was lobby boys yep. before Jim Jones. Jano. You could catch me at Harlem eating Jim Bones. Uh. Now in the music industry, rappers who've been shot sometimes wear it like a badge of honor, but it's always a blessing to see a rapper make it out of these dangerous situations, mainly because of all the rappers we've been losing lately. Now some say you're supposed to respect the shooter and not the person who was shot, but I feel as though when you're in tough situations, it's always a plus when you make it through it. And like they say, what don't kill you make you stronger. This is Shot Episode 4, Maserati Fox and Fat Joe, and this is their story. Now Maserati Fox, who was G-Unit dumb out in a G-Unit affiliate who had a heavy presence in the DVD era, is no stranger to being shot. Now before coming home from prison and repping G-Unit and jumping on every DVD magazine you could name at the time, Fox would be heavy in the streets. And sometimes the lifestyle he was living would put him in situations that could have went really bad for him. Now supposedly Maserati Fox was shot 21 times all together in different situations. I lost weight, I got shot 21 times talking in rap. Now, was even a situation where Fox said he was shot 12 times or either shot for the 12th time. Now, supposedly, Fox would go meet up with someone who owed him $10,000. And as he got in the car, the guy would start firing shots at Fox, striking him. Now, was even said that Fox was able to take the gun away from the guy who was shooting him. Now, this wouldn't be the last time that Maserati Fox would be shot. Now, sadly, Fox would be shot and killed January 4th, 2014 in Queens, not too long after returning home for doing a bid. Now, it was reported that Maserati Fox has killed the retaliation of the brother of the man Fox was accused of being involved with murder back in 1998. But Fox accused killer would go to trial and he ended up beating his case. Now, Fat Joe is a major player in the hip-hop culture. Before jumping in the rap game, it's no secret that Fat Joe was heavy in the streets. Now, even though it said Fat Joe was moving around strong, doesn't mean you're invincible or bulletproof. Because if Fat Joe younger years, he'll be caught in a situation he might not made it out of. Now, supposedly Fat Joe's been picking on a guy who owed the money. And according to Fat Joe, when he was about 18, he would be about 100 deep. And he'll run into this guy he's been bullying after separating from his crew. Now, when Fat Joe ran into this guy, the guy would pull a gun out on crack. And according to Joey, while the guy had the gun aimed at him, he'd pick up a bottle, throwing it, and busting the guy in the head with the bottle. Now, according to Crack, he says this bottle he threw at the guy split the guy head open to the white meat. Now, after he hit the guy, the guy will grin at him before shooting him. I had a gun. I didn't think he would shoot. I'm like, you the nigga suck my... I hit him in the face with a bottle. Now, Joe even go on to say if this would have happened in today's time, he would have talked the guy out of shooting him because he's way more smarter and much more mature. Had that same reenactment have happened now, I would never got shot. Like, I would have walked away and be like, oh, really? Uh, we don't have to do this. Now, for all my people out there who hear these stories I tell, I hope y'all can learn from the mistakes of others and just handle things more smarter and more clever. But anyway, if you're a fan of these old hip-hop stories, tell a friend and tell a friend about my page. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. More content coming, and I'm out. One.